Good morning, everybody. Pastor Rick here, Broadman Baptist Church. This is the Broadman Word, April 19th, 2023. I hope you're having a marvelous day in the world. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the Lord. Doing the work, his work in the world. Hey, listen, uh, today's title is Live Like the Tomb is Empty. Let me read you something from chapter 1 of, um, excuse me, chapter 20 of John, verse 1. It says, early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. Of course, we know where he went. He was um, between earth and heaven, and um, he had been um, resurrected. And so we need to know um, what to do with that. I've talked to you a few times now about being Easter people and living out the resurrection. Uh, today, I want you to, to consider living like you know the tomb is empty. Um, it's not a thing anymore. You know, when Jesus left that tomb under the power of God, he completed his victory over all things in the world. If the tomb um, had been sealed, even if Jesus wasn't in there, if the tomb had been sealed, there would be doubt. Um, there would be all kinds of conspiracy theories and everything else you know people would have eventually come up with. Uh, even if he had been uh, appeared to folks like he did, with the tomb sealed up, um, we still didn't know. And so, but the tomb wasn't sealed up. The tomb was empty, that gigantic stone rolled away, the seal broken, the, the guards mystified. Uh, this was truly and undoubtedly a thing of God. Uh, it had to be. That's the only way it could happen. You know, a dead man doesn't come back from the dead without God. He doesn't sneak past some Roman guards in the middle of the night uh, without the power of God. He doesn't then um, have the ability to travel around and uh, be seen by uh, lots of people uh, after having been crucified. So we then need to live our lives like the tomb is empty, like Jesus is in fact alive. Uh, because if not, then he's just a dead guy on a cross who did some cool tricks um, before going to wherever they thought he would go. Uh, but that's not what happened. Uh, he, in fact, did rise. He did speak. He did teach. And he did ascend to heaven. So in our lives, then, we need to have within us that joy and that certainty. Um, because we are, in fact, at the core of Christianity, resurrected lives, people resurrected from our sins, no longer in the darkness and, and death um, that sin leads to. We are in the light, and that light is Christ. And if he is um, not who he said he was and what happened didn't happen just exactly as he said it would, and uh, we didn't have the recorded events that we have, then we couldn't truly have crossed over into his light because it wouldn't really be there but we know that it is so with all the confusion and noise and cultural nonsense in the world all the people with their big ideas and their books and their tv shows and their anti-christian messages everybody who wants to say that they need proof of uh, the existence of god well it's there the tomb was empty um he was resurrected and then people saw him, and they saw him ascend to heaven to be with the Father. So we don't need any proof. I think too often Christians um, are in this quagmire between their belief and what they, they know to be true and the actual existence of a living God. Uh, we shouldn't have that. We should be, in fact, boldly proclaiming the resurrection, boldly proclaiming the empty tomb. We should be people that have no problems talking about a living God, 
uh, and it is in fact the the thing that makes Christianity different um, from all the others uh, of major religions in the world. You know, uh, Buddha is dead, and they say he's dead. Muhammad is dead, and they say he's dead. Confucius, and yeah, it's a religion, is dead, and they say he's dead. Uh, Judaism, they're still waiting for who they think the Messiah is to be. But it doesn't matter where you look. Um, the deity is dead until you get to Christianity. And we have demonstrable proof that he is alive. We don't serve a dead Lord. We serve a risen Lord who is very much alive. Uh, in John, we learn that the uh, in the beginning, there was the Word. The Word became flesh, right? You remember those scriptures? Well, uh, it happened. And it happened like the Bible says it happened. So when you're going about your day, when you're conducting your life, keep with you not only the message that I've been preaching to you about living a resurrected life, but keep with you an empty tomb because there is no grave that could hold Jesus Christ down. And there's no grave that's going to be able to hold you down. There is no power on earth that could keep that tomb sealed. And there is no power on earth that can keep you locked in darkness and in uh, sin and transgressions against God. Uh, you will rise, just like Jesus rose. You will live to reign with him when he comes back. You will be with God in heaven for eternity. And so live that out now. Be certain of the empty tomb. Live like the tomb was empty. Listen, I love you. You have a marvelous day. And I'll talk to you next time.